with a weekly load. You can smell a whiskey burning down Copperhead Road. Oof. What? Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Polo, and today we are diving into uncharted territory. At least I am, all right? Those of you who follow the channel know I like to listen to music. I would never normally even think to, to listen to. You know, I'm, I usually stayed in my little box when it came to, to music. So country falls into that genre for me. You know, I haven't uh, listened to a lot of country besides what you guys have seen me react to on my channel. And... Um, this was a request. This was a donation request for me to check out Steve Earl Copperhead Road. Now, I haven't seen this yet. You guys will get to go on that journey with me. But before we do that, please like the video, subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you can stay up to date with my latest videos by liking this video. That tells me that you want me to check out more country music. Let's get into it. Let's go. Got that banjo sound. Well, my name's John Lee Pettimore. Same as my daddy and his daddy before. You hardly ever saw granddaddy down here. I only come a town about twice a year. I'm thinking of the lyrics. He said, you know, so basically I, I read the lyrics a few times so I know how it goes. And there's the copper line for the uh <laughs> for the moonshine. You buy a hundred pounds of yeast and a copper line. Everybody knew it made moonshine. Granddad bad, he left a holler of everything he had. For my time, but I've been told to never come back from Copperhead Road. All right, so first impression the melody, I think I've heard this before, whether it be in a movie or something. So I don't think that, I don't know if it's original, if he was the first to do it, but I doubt it because country so old. So there might've been someone else that used this particular melody. Cause I think this is a classic country melody that he's using here. Um, I'm definitely loving the band as well. Let's keep it going. And also, you know, he has like a, a outlaw look to him <laughs> more so than the uh, uh, country uh, from my impression here. Driving and drinking moonshine. All right. I've tried moonshine before as well. And uh, that's how I got a beard. Okay, that was the longest buildup I've seen in a song. I mean, like, one of the longest. I did not know it was going to take that turn. That is how you cross country and rock. Let's go. Down to Knoxville with a weekly load. You can smell a whiskey burning down copper 
how you bridge the gap It's amazing how the energy of the song just completely changed. It just goes from being like this, um, you know, just casual melody or whatever. And it just amps up. It amps up really quick and changes the whole dynamic of the song while still keeping the same melody. I volunteered for the army on my birthday. First round here in a way. I've done two tours of duty in Vietnam. I came home with a brand new plane. I take a seat from Colombia, Mexico. I just planted up a hotter down Copperhead Road. Alright, so I get the song so. He said, hey, no more moonshine, all right? We are going to sell weed, man. <laughs> so that is Copperhead Road uh, in Tennessee, East Tennessee, I believe. Uh, and I guess after a couple generations of moonshine, he switched over to selling weed. And a fun fact that I read about this song is they had to change the name of the road because people kept stealing the signs. <laughs> all right, I guess keeping it as a souvenir because this is uh, a beloved song, so let's keep it going. I'm out of the got a chopper in the air. We got stream like I'm back over there. I learned a thing or two from Charlie, don't you know? You better stay away from Copperhead Road. I love that part. I love that part. That little build up. We got streaming like back over there. I learned a thing or two from Charlie, don't you know? You better stay away from Copperhead Road. You know what I'm figuring out here? When you know the story, it makes listening to country music a different experience than listening to other genres of music because you can listen to country simply because you enjoy the story, you know, not just necessarily um, how it sounds, even though this sounds well. The beginning of the story, the, the first part of the song, I mean, um, I thought that it was nothing special about it. Pretty, pretty typical for a country song. And then it picks up. All right. And then it doesn't let go once it picks up. And I wasn't expecting that type of energy and knowing the story also made it fun to see how it was put together. I mean, at least that's how I processed it. All right. But guys, if you like the video, be sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell by liking the video. That tells me to check out more country music. Also, if you want to support the page, all my links to support are in the description box. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.